Introducing our national officials of this match. First referee, Ms. John De Imus. Second referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Presenting the starting lineup for the Cherry Teagle Crossovers. Let's start with our team captain at number two, Abigail Marano. We're in jersey number eight, Aya Laure. At number nine, EJ Laure. At number 10, Ara Gala. Jersey number 11, Alina Bicar. At 16, Zog Karandan. Starting libero is number 19, Jen Yerba. With our head coach, Mr. Emilio Kung Fu Reyes Jr. And now, calling on the starters for your Akari Chargers. Starting on with our team captain at number six, Mitch Kong. Jersey number five, Gretchen Soltones. At number 10, Ezra Madrigal. We're in jersey number 11, Erika Raagas. At number 14, Fifi Sharma. Jersey number 16, Dindin Santiago Manabat. At 17, Fate Nisperos. Her starting libero is number one, Sheila Pineda. Head coach is Mr. Rafi Nisuela. This match is under the regulations and supervision. Check out the starters for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Maranio, Carandang, Laure, Bicar, Nierva, EJ Laure, and also uh, Aragalang for Coach Kung Fu. Meanwhile, for the Akari Chargers, we take a look at their starters. Paramanti Coach Rafi Mosuela, you have Madrigal, Sharma, Manabat, Cobb, Pineda, Sultones, and Nisperos as this sets us up for our second match this Saturday inside the Santa Rosa sports complex in Laguna. Thank you for joining us once again on One Sports Plus and on the Pilipinas Live app. Dip Dip Yanko together with Ayel Estraniero calling this match. And Kyla Kingsu is our courtside reporter. We've discussed ano ba yung implications ng laban na to, Ayel. And this should be a good one knowing that uh, Akari uh, with a decent record despite being out no, dito sa ating tournament. Meanwhile, Cherry Tigo after yung panal ng Petrogas, nagahabul din sila to get to the semis. That's true. And uh, just to remind everyone, Akari Chargers actually won against the Cherry Tigo Crossovers last conference. Mm. So, you know, in terms of uh, confidence as well, in terms of matchup, you know, Akari is uh, coming in today knowing that uh, they also have a chance for an upset. Yeah. But again, uh, we mentioned earlier as well, um, Cherry Tigo Crossovers currently in a five game winning streak. So definitely, they're coming in with a good momentum with the, and with a big purpose to try to seal that uh, semi-final slot. So that's a good context to, uh, to put for our viewers. We know that uh, the Chargers can challenge the crossovers as we begin the matchup. Yeah, getting her first attempt. Cobb sets up Nisperos. Dug up by Bikar. Nierva will bump it to Galang, and that will be the first point of the match. We have a talk about this all throughout the conference, how the addition of Ara Galang and Abby Maranio has been crucial also for the campaign of the Cherry Tigo crossovers, and Ara Galang starting us off with a point. Cobb goes to Sharma. And we've talked about her and how she has been delivering for the young Akari squad. A total package, uh, Fifi Sharma. Again, not just all defense, talking about being the first uh, blocker so far this conference, but also very lethal in terms of offense. One all to start this one. And Fifi will head to the service line. Karandang! We'll get that point for Cherry Kigo. <laughs> the attackers exchanging points, and this is gonna be crucial for both teams. The activation of the middle as Karandang there avoiding 
Madrigal. Nabanggit sa atin ni Kyla yung, uh, of course, yung luck ng Cherry Tigo here in uh, Santa Rosa as they got that win against uh, Creamline. Let's see if they will be able to do the same thing here against Atari. Meanwhile, off-speed works for Santiago Manabat. If there's one person who has uh, that sense of familiarity towards his Cherry Tigo crossovers, it's definitely uh, Dindin Santiago Manabat. Two times MVP. Mm. She heads to the service line. Two all to start this one. They go back to Karandang. Read perfectly by Ezra Madrigal. And we turn over to Kyla Kingsu for this report. Kyla. Thanks so much for that, Dipanayal. Now, earlier I got a chance to catch up with Aya Laure, Cherry Tigo's previous POG, and we talked about how different the aura is of the crossovers on and off the court this conference. And she said that if there's one thing that has truly worked wonders for her squad, it would be their improved level of communication. Sabi nga niya, at this point, hindi na kami natitlakat sabihin kung ano mang feel namin, whether it's about ourselves or each other's game. This level of maturity and respect just says a lot about how serious we really are about helping each other and bringing the team all the way through and that has certainly been evident in the way they have swept their previous opponents in the past matchups. With that said, let's see if may dalang suerte nga ang Santa Rosa as the Chargers put them to the test. Now this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Red App where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Dipanayo. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. Uh, you like that uh, Cherry Tigo is slowly building their confidence uh, a young team, of course, with newcomers also entering this conference in Galang and Baranio, but they're looking good. Uh, right now, they're down by one. Misperos unable to get that through. Santiago Manabat dug up by Karandang. EJ gets the ball back. Second try for Laure, and she scores. Going for the hands of uh, Michelle Bob. She ties the game up at 4 all here in the opening set. Cobb back sets to the running Madrigal. But it's out. And the crossovers overtake the Chargers. You see the effort of Bob to really activate the middles early on in this set. And that could, could be something good for them later on. Cobb back sets. Binalike Madrigal. This time it drops. But the decision for Cobb to give Madrigal a second chance to score a point. Better execution this time. Just tipping that one over. Yeah, you like that the uh, cop went back mm -hmm. to her, you know, despite that error in the previous uh, sequence. Here comes the play, Maranio. Saved by Nisperos, but short for Madrigal. Oh, Madrigal uh, wasn't uh, totally red before that set. So good start here for both teams exchanging points. Aragalang serving six to five. Good first ball by Soltones. Madrigal has been getting a lot of touches. Mm -hmm. This time, Cheritigo sends a free ball. It's her again, and Ezra will score. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, safe to say that uh, the game plan of Akari Chargers right now is uh, to feed the ball as much as they can to their middle attackers because, because so far it has been working for them. Yeah, you don't often uh, have her as your first option. That's true. But already now, uh, Ezra with three points. Half of the output of uh, Akari Chargers. Bikar upset to Laure. That goes out, mm -hmm. no touch. Too long there for Laure. So lead swings back to the Chargers. Seven serving six. Laure on the approach. 
The push. Din Din tried to save it, but to no avail. And we are tied once again at 7 all. Another smart move there coming from Laure, just uh, pushing that one over, didn't really force, you know, that ball across court, just uh, finding a weak spot in the floor defense of the Akari Chargers. Deadlock at seven apiece. EJ with a serve. Cobb goes to Sharma. And that brings us to the first technical timeout. The Chargers up by one. Arena Plus Astigsa Sports, and we are back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex for this tightly contested set number one so far. Palita tayo na puto sa And the really good start here for the Akari Chargers. They're producing their own points. Meanwhile, uh, their good defense, net defense, forcing the Cherry Tigo crossovers to commit some errors. But uh, we've seen Akari start strong in a couple of their games. The question is, will they be able to stay consistent? Because we know Cherry Tigo to you know, just play steady volleyball and have a strong end game. One, two does not work. Back with the black shirts. Aya asking for a touch, none given. But they will challenge this one. First challenge here for the Cherry Tigo cross over off that Leia Laure attack. I mean, two blockers with her in that one. It was a Fifi Sharma and Dindin Santiago Manabat. So, you know, a good rotation for Akari against the leading scorer of yeah. uh, Cherry Tigo. So they really want to lock her in, slow her down. But let's see if uh, this will be a good challenge. Uh, so far, she's only scored a single point. Mm -hmm. Lock touch is what they asked for, and they get it. Din Din with her pinky hitting that ball. Good challenge there for Coach Kung Fu. And Aya knew it, no? Mm -hmm. She was uh, saying that there was indeed a block touch. So, Tablatayo at 8 all. Maranyo with a serve. That's a good one. Cobb will send a free ball. Karandang. That's outside. A couple of attack errors already coming from uh, the Cherry Tigo crossovers. They are giving away some free points here. Nine serving, eight Sultones will get ready to serve. Oh, way out for Gretzel. Sultones trying to target the corner pocket of the Cherry Tigo crossover. Too long for her, so another deadlock in the start of this set. Doesn't happen too often because she's the number three server mm -hmm. in the tournament so far. So Cherry Tigo will take that one. Galang off the block. And so far, the blocking of Akari has been stable in terms you know, of blocking for Mayerson. Two blockers again with Ara Galang, Piti Charm, and Faith Nesperos. It's just that uh, Galang outsmarting them on that one. Mm -hmm. Lead now is with the crossovers. 10 to 9. They're trying to add to that. 
And, and Laure will score. Lot of power in that attack of Aya Laure. No, this is why Aya Laure is lethal. She can choose the angle she wants to go to. She can really put uh, the power of, or ball control over her attacking. Cobb chooses Din Din. And solid block coming from Aya Laure. Back to back points for Aya Laure. And this forces coach Rafi Mosuela to call for time. Some specific instructions there as we take a look at this replay off that Din Din Santiago attack, but Ea Laure definitely ready yeah. for that one stop block for her. And this is what uh, Coach Rafi mentioned also, some specific instructions there to Michelle Cobb in terms of uh, resetting the circle. And also a reminder that they don't want the momentum to go to the side of the right. team to crossovers because earlier they definitely had the momentum. They were controlling the match. And Cherry Tigo in the midst of a 5 to nothing run. Which is why they built a 4-point lead, pero natawag na challenge. Si Coach Rafi asking for a block touch on the attempt of Fifi Sharma. I mean, Fifi Sharma wasn't sure, but all her other teammates, you know, were saying that uh, there was a block touch, so this could be a good challenge for them as well. Let's see. Good run uh, right now for the crossovers who were down 8-9 to nine just a while ago. It looks clean. Well, definitely clean, no block touch there, so an unsuccessful challenge for the Akari Carlos. Possibly also just trying to halt the momentum. No, dahil kakatawag lang ng timeout eh. That's true. Not how you want to respond after that huddle. Sharma with the hang time does not work. Back with the Chargers. Here comes Din Din. Galang with a save. Aya that drops. This is where Cherry Tigo is thriving right now in this certain rotation as Aya Laura scores another point off the hands of Dindin Santiago Manabat because, you know, Vicaris on the back row, three attackers on the front row, three lethal attackers for the crossovers. Six unanswered points. EJ picks it up. Aya will attack once again. Good coverage by Nierva. Aya, another try this time. It's long, and that ends the run of uh, Cherry Tigo. No, but Akari, you know, what's good for them right now is that they're getting the touches. Mm -hmm. They're forcing Aya Laura to really think of her attacking. But uh, again, the question of consistency because Cherry Tigo has a lot of offensive options in the front row. Medyo mababa for Karandang. Madrigal wanted that one. Cobb. Goes to Nesperos. Oh, but there's a violation. A good angle there for Nesperos. He saw how she wanted to go down the line. Unfortunately, it scraped the antenna. So an automatic point for the crossovers. Lead is back up to five for Cherry Tigo. With Ea Laure getting ready to serve. It's short. An error coming from Laure. Trying to serve strong in that serve. Unfortunately, too short for her. So a chance here for Kari to take back the momentum. Let's see if they will be able to build on this one with Santiago Manabat on deck to serve. 11 to 15. 
Good read coming from A avoiding that one. <laughs> and it brings us to the second technical timeout. Cherry Tigo up by five. <laughs> The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20th only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag Everyone's Game. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Actually, it's the no play in tournament. So we're going to start the playoffs sa NBA in a couple of days as we just saw the crowd inside the venue. Always nice to have uh, the games here over in Santa Rosa. Always uh, showing up. Marami rin tao sa likod natin, no? And uh, again, there's another matchup later on between Signal and PLDT. So, stay tuned for that one. But right now, it's the Chargers trying to cut the lead down as Nisperos serves. Good dig by Pineda. Naibalik. Maranio with a running spike. A smooth transition play on that one. I mean, Aragalang got caught, but Abi Maranio with a classic down the line attack, running attack. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Here comes the captain for the crossovers. Good serve for Galang. Soltón is on the approach. Good dig by Nierva. Ea will set up the play to her sister. And EJ will take care of it. And we've talked about Jen Nierva in the pregame and how important she is for the crossover. Take a look at the dig. And that allowed Ea Laure to set up uh, EJ Laure on that one. What a play for Charity. You'll credit that first to the excellent dig of Nierva. Cobb. Soltones on the adjustment. Some veteran moves there coming from uh, Soltones. Faking that approach, last second, just tipping that one over, making uh, the floor defense of the crossover work. And they need more of her. That's only her first point. She is the second leading scorer for this Akari team, right behind Dindin Santiago Manabat. Easy point. This play of teamwork and chemistry so far. Take a look at this one hand set of Nabor to Abi Maranio. No support there in the floor defense of the Akari Chargers. And I think this is what Aya Laura talked about earlier that uh, Kyla, you know, reported the communication, yeah. the chemistry that they have built. And uh, it has really allowed them to be successful in their campaign so far, this conference. Kinaliwa pa yun ni Abi Marani, you know, with her offhand. Meanwhile, service error for Cherry Tigo. At palitan ng setters for Akari. Jaja Maraginot will replace Michelle Cobb. They're down by five points. 
14 serving 19 here in the opening set. Pat announces her entry. Lot of veteran players really stepping up for the Cherry Eagle crossovers. The more setting up pads and an uh, instant point there for her with a down the line attack. So pad on and off as a starter and as a player for the crossovers, but uh, she's actually the second best scorer of their team so far. Uh, number 17 in the league for this conference. Cesc Robles also on the floor now for the crossovers. Maraginot goes to Sharma, denied by Laure. Talking about adjustments right now, Mitos being marked with the crossovers. And timeout called by the Chargers. Coach Rafi saying, Taas uh, I mean, he was trying to say that they really need to up their intensity right now because that's what lacking. They had that intensity, that energy in the start of the set, but they lost it once Charitigo gained that momentum and once Charitigo was able to adjust. But right now, adjustment, necessary adjustment needed on the side of the Akari Chargers. Yeah. Let's see if they will respond well after that timeout. Down by seven points. Maraginot goes to Santiago Manabat. Dug up by Robles. The bump by Nabor to Laure. And it drops. Oh, it's uh, just really hard to play against a team with a lot of pieces. And all these pieces are able to contribute. Says Robles consistent on the service line. Nabor setting up uh, the right the person at the right time. And Pat also with uh, some scores. Bit of a silent start for Aja, but now she has six points. Dinadaan din niya sa depense, eh, right? We saw a couple of blocks from her. Meanwhile, a much-needed point coming from Santiago Manabat. And uh, that's what they need right now. They need to produce points, talking about Akari, because Cherry Tigo now close to end this set. 15 to 22. Pinuntaan si Karandang read perfectly by the tall blockers of the Chargers. Unfortunately, that one sailed out. Now we've talked about this, how their blocking has been solid. The blocking formation is really just a matter of, you know, pressing their hands in. That one sailed out as Karandang scoring. And Bikar will serve for the crossovers. Sharma. Unable to get that one. Tight set. Chance here for the Chargers. Jaja to Faith. Naiyangat ni Laure. The other Laure will attack and score. Ted Hitigo is just in their floor right now. Really smooth, consistent plays. Everyone connecting, everyone contributing points. Uh, and Laure with another clean attack. That puts Cherry Tigo at set point, 24 to 15. Maraginot goes back to Din Din. Off the block, she scores. Some sparks coming from uh, Santiago Manabat. Off the hands of uh, Karandam, who was still transitioning to close that block. Yeah. And they need more of those. Eight points by yung hinahabol ng Chargers. Sharma back at the service line, 16 to 24. Yervon, that first ball, the toss to Gala. Another rejection, but kept alive by the crossovers. Second try for Akari. Din Din again. There's a check. Bikar to Karandang, popped up by Sharma. Nisperos. Down it goes for Faith Nisperos. 
A better floor defense and offense on the side of the Akari Chargers. Take a look at the coverage on the side of the Cherry Tigo crossovers, but finally, Fitz Esperos finding a spot there. Great effort for Nierva and Garandang, but a timeout called. Ara, pakita ka sa labas, balikan mo ng kanang balikat. Pag-tento ka lang. Porsyento mo na lang siya pag walang pasa. EJ, in case, pwede ka sa back row. Tapos yung quick mo, huwag mo masyadong babaan kay Sarina. Ganda mo yung pasok mo. Ang kailangan mo mahatak dito yung Eden. Para may ipit niya si Dindin sa gilid. Si Ara mag-ano. Gote, what's up? Pero magsimula lang yan sa magandang pasa. Pag wala, automatic naman yan. Bukos pa nila, last one. Jay! Bye! So, we heard from the timeout, the crossovers, they have a clear strategy to get this set point. And uh, sabi ni Coach Kung Fu, play two daw, but for sure, walang tay idea kung ano yung play two. <laughs> but you know, one good execution, that's what all uh, Charitiga needs. Malalaman natin kung ano ba yung play na yan. But first, they need to get a good first ball. Bikar on a combination to Galang. At siguro yun nga yun. Para Galang getting that point. And Cherry Tigo getting set number one on his final play. Combination play there. And uh, Galang is uh, taking advantage of the gap in between the blockers. Again, a perfect execution to end that set for the crossovers. It's 25 to 17 for the first set. We'll be back with the second one after this break. Back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex, set one just finished. And it was uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers getting that one, 25 to 17 over the Akari Chargers. Let's take a look at the highlights, Ayel. What did you see there uh, for the crossovers that allowed them to take set number one? Well, for the crossovers, you know, they just stayed consistent, steady, despite the fact that the Akari Chargers started strong. They were neck and neck in the start of the set, but when the Cherry Tigo crossovers found they mo their momentum, they just led all the way. I mean, A.L. Laure stepping up to be for them to build that momentum. Uh, Galang, Paat, you know, Abi Maranyo contributing some sparks as well. So really a good team effort on the side of the Cherry Tigo crossovers as uh, you see the numbers right now. Big disparity in terms of attack points. 16 for the crossovers, 10 for the Akari Chargers, 2 blocks for the Cherry Tigo crossovers, 1 for the Akari Chargers. You know, just an overall performance. It was really Cherry Tigo stepping up. Uh, both teams uh, giving away some free points. But, uh, you know, for the Akari Chargers, the question is, will they be able to start strong again and uh, stay consistent? Because uh, the crossovers just really know how to adjust and yeah. play their game. Yeah, it was a good start for the Chargers in set number one. It looked like uh, the crossovers were going to have a tough time uh, covering itong si Ezra Madrigal who had four points early on but then Ea Laure just exploding in that set one with seven points two of those blocks that you saw in the stats galing kay Ea Laure 
that's all around. She is as a player. Uh, the reason why the Akari Chargers has been wanting to slow her down yep. because uh, they know what uh, she's capable of in terms of uh, scoring. But talking about scoring, Akari really needs to produce uh, their own points in this set. Right behind Madrigal is Manabat uh, with three points for Cherigigo. Right behind Ea is her sister EJ with three points as well. Aragalang also has three and we welcome you all to set number two here on one sports plus and on filipinas live dip dip Yanko with ayel estraniero covering this match together with kyla kingsu at the sidelines that sails out and the first point goes to cherry tigo and we also see some adjustments here on the side of uh, the carry chargers erica Arga starting in the set as well as uh jaja maraguino yeah she came in the midway mm -hmm. no set one talking about maraguino ito namang si raga seeing action for the first time inabot lang yeah laure and second point for cherry tigo a good start here for the cherry tigo crossovers Jaja to Soltones and Gretchel will score off the block. Soltones uh, using the hands of the blocker in that one. Take a look at this replay. Pass set going to her. And uh, Soltones using the hands of Galang. And this is uh, what uh, Akari needs. Uh, they need to challenge the good defense of uh, the Akari, the Charitigo crossovers. Yeah. The car goes to Galang on the drop. On Esperos and Sultones going for that ball. As we send this to Kyla, gives you for this report, Kyla. Thanks so much for that, Depanayel. Now, as we know, the Akari Chargers are on their final stretch this All Filipino Conference. And I talked to their captain, Michelle Cobb, and asked her what she hopes to see from her girls as they attempt to close out this season stronger. And she almost immediately answered that it is her squad's hunger to maximize every last second and every single opportunity to learn and grow no matter the result of their final matchup. Sabing on the captain, Mitch, we've had quite a conference, many, many memorable games, some hiccups along the road, but what matters is we end with a lot of lessons learned that will propel us forward in the next conferences. At the end of the day, she says that she's got a lot of trust in her girls. The Chargers know that they are facing a different composition of the crossovers this time around, so their hopes to improve their position relies the confidence in Tamang Discard Nila, which we hope to see more in this set number two. Now, this report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app, where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the run. Let's listen in and this time out. Okay, okay. Tara, tara. Ano ba akong motivation ay bibigay sa inyo? Ay sa loob. Ha? Mas maraming error tayo eh. Okay, tsagayin lang. Tsagayin lang natin. Bibigay tayo, nagbibigay ng punto sa kalaban. Sige lang, sige lang. O, gawin natin yung trabaho natin. Tara, go, go, go. Well, Chaga, that's uh, what they need right now because Cherry Tigo is four points up, uh, starting strong in the set. And, you know, Akari started really well in the first set. They had the intensity, they had the momentum. But uh, right now, they really need to pick things up. All right, four-point lead now for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Kaya naman napatawag ng timeout si Coach Rafi Mosuela. Jaja goes back row to Raagas. There's a check. The dive by Nierva keeps it alive. Galang rewarding Jen with her effort. <laughs> Smart play there coming from Jen Nierva. Quick enough to get to that ball, but the Ara Galang delivering that point, uh, slowing things down, just a playing, you know, with uh, the pace of the blocking yeah. of the carry chargers. Perfect read for Ara Galang. Five point lead for Cherry Tigo. That's a miss set coming from Maraginot, overshooting that one. Errors piling up right now for the Akari Chargers, so definitely not helping them in the start of the set. And which is why Michelle Cobb will, will re enter for Maraginot. With the hopes that uh, she's able to provide the stability here for the Akari Chargers. 
Seven to one is the score. Finally a point. And Madrigal, much like in that set uh, number one, no? Siya yung nagsimula for Akari. And uh, this is what Akari needs again, the activation of the middles. This is, this is what worked for them in the start of the set. No, if it works, you can just continue doing it for the Akari Chargers. Cobb serving for Akari. The set up to Galang. Ragas picks it up. Goes to Soltones. It will be Ayat to set it up. EJ into the stands. The ball goes as Laure will score to bring us to the first technical timeout. Arena Plus as Tixa Sports. It is a six point lead right now for the Cherry Digo crossovers here in set number two. And we were talking about it off air, uh, Ayel, how so smooth the uh, play right now of the Cherry Digo crossovers, especially here at the start of set two. They're just really looking organized, very cohesive in almost all the rallies. So, uh, really, Akari needs to put in more effort. Sent back. Sultan is able to get a touch on it, but on the second block, he did not work. Again, everything working well on the side of the Cherry to go cross over from offense to defense as Abi Marano reads that the Fitness Peras attack so well, no coverage, and that second attempt for the Akari Chargers. Na kailang catwalk na si Abi Marano dito, ah? Let me stop din tayo for that one. <laughs> A good job from Madrigal. We've been talking about how effective she has been. Oh, Madrigal definitely the bright spot here for the Akari Chargers. Six points now for Ezra to lead all the Akari scorers. Miss Peros on the approach. Good save by Laure Galang. Wrapped up by Cobb. The Speros again. Third try for the Chargers. This time, Soltones. Still nothing. Galang will try on the drop. And it drops. In the variety of attacks on the side of the crossovers is a definitely a problem on the defense of the Akari Chargers. Take a look at this ball control of Aragalang, just tipping that one over. Great port awareness there. Yeah, and she doesn't even need to power it. In the basa lang niya defense ng Akari. From three points in set number one, she now has three at the start of this set two. Espera's trying to do the same. Eja and Ara colliding. Sumobra. A regalo for Abby Marano as uh, she takes care of that point. Crossovers just pushing that one over, but uh, you know, Madrigal was still in transition, so she definitely did not have a good ball control over that one. Uh, Abby Marano stepping up in the sequence. Four points now for the captain. 
And the biggest lead of the game so far at eight. Paat will enter. At the best first ball, Ragas will try to work with this. Ayo was there for the pickup. Nieva bumps it to Mylene. Naibalik. Madrigal getting another point for Akari. Madrigal definitely had a good look on that tip of a pad. Fuck long for her. Seven points now for the middle blocker as she heads to the service line. But they're still down by seven. Short serve. Maranio. Oh, solid block. Coming from Erika Ragas. Ragas has also been that good adjustment on the side of the Akari Chargers. Closing down Laura and that one. So good momentum, good points right now coming mm -hmm. from Akari. Back to back. Nabor on the tip. Ooh, Esperos and Madrigal hitting each other. Ezra slow to get up. And made an scramble in the new Akari with Paat delivering the point. And again, this is why it's a tough job playing against the Cherry Tigo crossovers because everyone is a threat, so you have to make sure you guard everyone, yeah. everyone producing points as well. So really, it's, it's the teamwork allowing Cherry Tigo to have this uh, much of a big lead. Back up by seven. Max Juanco now the libero for the Chargers. Nabor goes to Pat. And Mylene will score once again. Pat on the road right now. Back to back points for her. And we've talked about the attackers and the crossovers, but uh, we haven't talked much about the setters, Nabor and Bikar. Yeah. He's been orchestrating the offense smoothly for the crossovers. Cub sets up Ragas on the drop. So Ragas and Madrigal, so far the bright spot. And that move is brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Too late for Nabor. Six serving 13. Short for Nisperos. They really need to look into their service errors. I mean, that's really a missed opportunity for them to gain momentum. Balik sa walo. Ang abante ng crossovers. 14 to 6. Cobb goes back to the Agas. Doesn't go over. Four touches. There's going to be a challenge called by the Chargers. And that was a hit coming from Raagas. In front of her was Pa trying to block. Nine point advantage for the crossovers. Make that 10 after the service ace from Avi Maranio. Uh, Avi Maranio is a good day so far. Ace off the hands of Sotones. And that leads us to the second technical timeout. Six points coming from Maranio and a 10 point lead for the crossovers.
back inside the Santa Rosa complex in Laguna. A commanding 10-point lead for the Charity Go crossovers over the Akai Chargers. That last point coming from an ace of Abby Marano. Ea. Marano gets the touch. Pat puts it away. The leader so far for the crossovers, uh, stepping up in a couple of sequences. And this spike of the sentence brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Going down the line, targeting Juanco. The biggest lead of the game so far at 11. Marciano now on the floor. Good cover by Ea. She gets the ball back to attack. There's a check. But Akari will contest. Michelle Cobb and TV Sharma saying that uh, there was no block touch. So far, the challenges have been uh, unsuccessful for Akari. Let's see on this one if they finally get it right. And you see the effort also of the coaches to fight for every point right now because uh, this is such a big gap for them. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, difficult to close down. That's Sharma on the left. And Cobb on the right. So it appears that there was no block touch. There is a block touch. Challenge is successful for our colleague. There's another challenge for Charity. Counter challenge. Etong Cherry Tigo. With uh, assistant coach Aying Esteban. Challenge unsuccessful coming from uh, Cherry Tigo. Uh, Aya makes sure of that one. <laughs> Crossover is really quick to side out in the set. Sir, for charity. Sir, for charity. Service to Nipahat, but she sends that through. Actually, a good serve. Raagas from the back. Sumobra and Sharma will take that point. Nanierva read that one well, but just uh, couldn't uh, control that ball perfectly. An overpass coming from her. A rare one coming from Nierva, but uh, Piti Sharma ready for that one. That one out for Erika Ragas. So the errors really from the service line coming for Akari Chargers has not allowed them to gain momentum. 11 point lead still for the crossovers. Eight, 
Cobb. Nierva able to save it. Nabor will bump it to Adorador. Too long on that one. Adorador trying to spin that uh, one over, but uh, too long for her. Nine serving 19 here in set two. Nabor sets up the play to Karandang, dug up by Cobb. Chance here for Cherry Tigo. But we know that Nabor can attack too. But play continues. And finally, Karandang will end that one. Look at this replay, Karandang. Just timing that one that took advantage of the loose block of Akari. Twenty serving nine. Covered by Nesperos, the tip. And take save by Paat. Play continues. Cobb tosses it to Nesperos. Karandang able to save it. <laughs> And Shaya, straight to Ragas, Nisperos again. Back and forth we go. Good floor defense for both teams. Swanko on that save. Boypa. Madrigal <laughs> unable to get it. Crowd <laughs> holding their breaths as point is awarded to the Chargers. I mean, a really good rally there coming from uh, both teams. Good exchanges in terms of offense, a lot of power attacks. No, unfortunately, a double contract there called on my lead path. Good day coming from Wanko. So far, see, Maranio has been hard to cover. And you never see the good answer now. Talking about hard to cover, Abi Maranya just choosing the right angle to get that point. So this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Classic running attack there from Abi Maranya. Outside for Nabor. And they will not challenge that one. But Akari obviously can't afford to exchange points. Mm -hmm. lang, no? sila That's dito. true. They really need to make a run here. You know, Charitigo already at the 21. This is a 10-point gap. It's received by Nierva. Oh, but it ends up as a point. With Robles setting the play and Adorador getting the point. And uh, it wasn't even a power hit coming from Adorador. She just pinned that one over, targeted a zone on the side of Akari Chargers. No one there. The dig coming from Nierva, but Nisperos will take that point. A good read coming from uh, Nierva. Take a look at this replay. Faith Nesperos going down the line, Nierva right on the spot, but uh, no support there coming from her teammates. Better first ball. Combination dug up by Faith. The save coming from Juanco. Play continues. The set up to Robles and the big block for Michelle Cobb. Great effort there coming from Wango. Take a look at this replay. Sacrificing her body on that one. But uh, Michelle Cobb just uh, reading that last sequence to get the points to the carry Chargers. Maxwell was sacrificing there. And then Cobb. Not the tallest, but we know how mm -hmm. she has great timing. That's true. Yeah. Tinaasa na yun ni Robles. And I was gonna say that block of Cobb can fire up with Akari. 
And Dragas will uh, give them back-to-back -back points. Impact play with a kill block of a Quab can uh, give some uh, confidence and life here for the Cali Chargers. Oh, Cherry Tigo will answer back. Uh, again, uh, the reason why Akari is having a difficult time in closing this gap is because crossovers, they're just very quick in going for a side out. Cobb to Sharma. That drops for Fifi. Got their first ball this time coming from uh, the Chargers and that allowed Michelle Cobb to set up a Fifi Sharma. But Akari able to at least uh, chim the lead here. That's true. Marshano gets it back. Cobb on the 1-2. Saved by Nierva. Off speed. Na balik pa rin. Robles will try. And another rejection for Cobb. The captain, Michelle Cobb. Slowing down the defense of the crossovers. Another good block against Cesar Robles. 16, serving 23. Kept alive by the crossovers. Chance for the Chargers. Oh, Juanco apologizes for that one. But no problem as the blocking continues for the Chargers. Again, we're not surprised why Akai Chargers is able to block like this. They are third in blocking overall as Fifi Sharma and Janine Marshano teaming up on that one. And this Fifi Sharma, who is the number one blocker in the tournament mm -hmm. so far, they cut the lead down to just six. Robles. Picked up by Wanko Cobb. Going for that spot. The board bumps it to Pat. Back with the crossovers. Karandang saved by Faith. Cobb to Marciano in the off speed. Pat again will try. Cobb will set up Marciano. Saved by Nierva. Play continues. Akari has been attacking. Cherry Tigo has been defending. And Pat, that's outside. So now that the blocking of Bakari Chargers has been working well for them, crossovers uh, with some attack errors. And a 7 to 1 run for Akari unleashed, which is why Coach Kofu will call for time. Intindihan nyo? Yes. Hindi naman natin pwedeng tanggalin yung kung nagagalaw nila. Ang problema yung sa atin ng kontrolin natin. Bakit? Jasmine, maayos ang pasa. Nakakakuha na ng middle. Tsaka mo ibibigay. Pag walang pasa, tsaka mo ibibigyan ko. Kung sino yung pinak... Ang practice natin, kung saan tayo nalaman? Kasi yun ang ginagawa natin eh. Hindi lang basta kayo makapagpa-play. One step out, one step. Be at the moment, tayo umakatake. Pero sila kabila ang umi-score. May block, automatic, may possibility, mag-block, 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 in the PVL. So going back to that timeout, Ayel trying to halt this run of Akari. Oh, I mean, the 7 1 run. They need a point right now. Tough set for Nabor. Juanco will be the one to set it up. Miss Peros will work from the back. 
Onieva, the push saved by Ragas. Sharma sets up Marciano off the block. Hakari Chargers on fire right now. And they are charging their way here. A great effort from Erika Agas there. Uh, Pipi Sharma setting up Marciano off the hands of a pad to get that point. Eight to one run for Akari. Robles finally ends that one and puts Cherry Digo at set point. Last low set there from the board to Robles. It took them a while to get a side out as Akari Chargers uh, gained momentum, but again, it was a big lead that uh, Akari tried to close, but uh, they still have some chance here, but uh, Cherry Tigo at set point right now. 24 to 19. A sigh of relief for Cherry Tigo. That run of Akari is very hard to stop. But finally, they are one point away from taking this two-set advantage. Cobb goes to Sharma, sent back. Wanko on the bump to Nesperos. Bicar was there, Nierva sets up Galang. Saved. Still alive. Marciano again. Adorador able to keep it up. Ragas was there. Janine. That drops and inside for Marciano. Marciano with another point for the Akari Chargers. Able to save a set point. Again, powering through the blocking of the crossovers. Getting the tape of the net and then the blocker of uh, Cherry Digo. And they're only four points away. But Sharma has to serve flawlessly. Galang. Cobb. Inangat. It's back with the crossovers. Robles looking to end it. And she ends it on the powerful hit for the crossovers. Robles coming alive with the important point for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Stops the momentum of Akari earlier in this time, giving them the most important point to get this second set. What a rally for the Chargers as we look forward to set number three and what it will bring for us here in the PBL All-Filipino Conference.
back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex in Laguna for this matchup between the Cherry Tigo crossovers and the Akai Chargers for our second match of this Saturday triple header. Uh, we saw how the Chargers fought back in that set number two as we take a look at the highlights of what happened there. Crossovers looked like they were going to get that uh, cruise to set number two, but uh, I, be I, be I believe Michelle Cobb getting those two big blocks and also Fifi Sharma joining in at the mix. We also saw some good attacks coming from Marciano and that really allowed Akari to come alive in that set number two, but that's true. Lamang nitong uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers. And uh, the crossovers, again, uh, they know what is at stake right now. So, uh, they know their purpose. A lot of players stepping up. It's just that the carry chargers coming alive just right in time to try to close that gap. But as you mentioned, that was uh, too much of a big gap for them to be able to close. As uh, you take a look at the numbers, um, uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers faring uh, better still in attack points. 15 for them against the 10 of the Akari Chargers, but Akari Chargers, they banked on their strength, which is the blocking. Five kill blocks for them against the three of the crossovers. Crossovers getting two service aces, but again, it was a tight match towards the end stretch. It, it's, ju it's just that uh, Akari Chargers, you know, had a difficult time to close that big gap of uh, the crossovers. Right, 10 attacks for Akari, both in sets one and two uh, for Cherry Tigo. Their blocking also worked here, but again, the Chargers, yung combination ni Michelle Cobb and also Fifi Sharma could be just the spark plug that they're waiting for para magising dito sa larong ito. That's true. And for them, for Akari, they need to start strong because despite the fact that they were able to really gain that good momentum, no, that uh, big of a gap is uh, just too hard to close for them. Well, we welcome you all to set number three inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex. And we'd like to thank you all for staying with us here on One Sports Plus and on Pilipinas Live, Dip Dip Yanko with Ayel Estraniero and Kyla Kingsu, your broadcast team, for this second match. Pagkatapos ito, meron pa tayo Signal versus PLDT. But the focus of uh, Cherry Tigo is to win mm -hmm. and improve their record in hopes of entering the semifinals. And Aragalang will draw first blood here in the third set. So Cherry Tigo crossovers, just uh, no fielding in different sets of players. Making it uh, difficult for Akai to read them, but uh, activation from the middle from the Chargers there, uh, very effective. Again, uh, Fifi Sharma with that A-quick attack. What else did you see there, Ayel, in uh, set number two that allowed uh, the Chargers to go on that huge run? Well, definitely they had the energy, the intensity, they were more aggressive offensively, and that's what they need because uh, the crossover is currently number one in picking, so they want to stay aggressive in the offense, talking about Akari. Well, let's hear more from Kyla Kingsu on this report about Cherry Tigo. Kyla? Thanks so much, Dip and Ayel. Now, you're right, Akari's blocking has been the kryptonite for the crossovers, really complicating matters for Coach Kung Fu squad. But in one way or another, this serves as a good wake-up call for them. As I heard the girls call for more aggressiveness and urgency in their recent huddle. Like you mentioned, Ayel, everyone can be a threat in Cherry. And it re reminded me of my conversation with Jen Yerba regarding the cohesiveness of their team. She said that more than putting in the time and hard work to make that possible, understanding each other's strengths and weaknesses, analyzing how to complement one another and fitting all these pieces of their puzzle together are their secrets to this streak that they are enjoying. Jen opened up sharing that it was a frustrating journey to figure out how to transform their individual talents into a collective threat. But thanks to the patience of her coaches and teammates, they are finally seeing the fruits of their labor. On that note, will Cherry snatch yet another straight set win or will Akari have another surprise run that will change the narrative of this game we'll have to see now this report is brought to you by the Filipinas live app where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the world now back to you Debanea. thank you Kyla for that report well this Cherry Tigo lineup staying the course 
Uh, we know that they went through a sort of rebuilding uh, stage dinner when, when the new players mm -hmm. from uh, the collegiate ranks came in. Mm -hmm. But they stayed patient, and yun nga, sabi ni Kyla, they're reaping the benefits right now. And again, you know, when they started the season, uh, the, the confidence, there were some doubts also, because individually they're so good, but collectively uh, they're not able to translate that one. And that's what uh, Kyla pointed earlier, but right now definitely they are a collective threat with a five-game uh, winning streak. Oh, what a block coming from Aragala, denying Nisperos. Aragalang. Everyone on the side of Cherry Eagle just having an all around game. As you take a look at this replay, one man block. Aragalang closing down Faith Nesperos. And eight points now for Aragalang in this match. Three point lead for the crossovers, but what about Madrigal too? No, Madrigal really one player who has stayed consistent all throughout this game for the Akari Chargers. Another slight attack there for her. Not a lot of power, just tipping that one over, but very effective. Silently collecting nine points to lead all scorers of uh, Akari. Marciano had a uh, good couple of points towards the end of set two, but a service error on her part. Marciano rushing on that serve. Easy over. Bikar. Joust won by Alina Bikar over Madrigal. Oh, Bikar really is playing, trying to win that joust. Madrigal also letting that one go for a split second allowed Bikar to get that point. 7-3. Ragas will get that point for the Chargers. And there's a challenge called here by uh, the crossovers. Net touch challenge. There was a net touch. The ice there for the coaching staff. I mean, it was hard to say. So it's eight to three. Hmm? And this should be a technical timeout. That's why we're taking a short break with Cherry Tigo up by five.
Rosa Sports. And we are back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex for the matchup between Akari and Cherry Tigo. The Arena Plus Astigsa Sports, and we are once again back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex for this matchup between the Chargers and the Crossovers. Charity Go on a 7 2 win loss record. Five game winning streak for them, Mayel. And uh, ito naman Akari Chargers, a 4 5 record. Both coming from a three set victory in their previous matches. And again, Charitigo still fighting for that uh, semi-final slot. They're currently with the same record as PLDT, so they would want to get this game to have a bit of a separation. I think this is one of the clo mo uh, closest mm -hmm. conferences we've had, no? With teams vying to enter the semi-finals. Oh, we're nearing the end of the preliminaries, but uh, there's still no, no safer record for all the teams. Unfortunately, apat lang ipapasok <laughs> with, with how close this has been. That's why we have to watch the remaining games and see to get a clear picture of how this will fare. Ragas. Laure gets the first ball. EJ. Cabo set up the play. Another good day coming from Ea. Galang. Has been smart on those uh, tips. Back with the black shirts. Bikar. Tumaranio ducks. Gets out of the way, but out of control for Laure and a point for the Chargers. Crossover is scrambling in that uh, last sequence. So this is a better start for uh, the Cari Chargers. Uh, so you see the remaining game of the Cheritigo crossovers. It will be on April 25 against uh, the Galleries. Who uh, actually played a while ago, mm -hmm. right? Lost in uh, straight sets to the Petrogas Angels. Take a look at this replay of that uh, nervous set to Laure, avoiding the blockers in that one. Uh, Madrigal could not contain that attack. EJ with a serve. 9 to 5. The tip. Doesn't work. Ea. Marshana for the pickup. Ragas. Oh, EJ with a good save. The bump by Bikar. That sails out for Ea Laure. Oh, God, he's putting uh, the crossovers out of the system a couple of times already. And, of course, the last game for the Chargers. Mm -hmm. They will face a uh, strong group athletics on April 27. Again, for the Cali Chargers, they are already out of contention, but they would want to end strong. Good effort by Bicard to keep it alive. Ragas, too long. Asking for a check. Well, let's see. Based on the replay. Agas has uh, also been that spark plug on the side of the Akari Chargers. Did not start on the first set, was fielded in and started in the second set and here on the third set. Mm -hmm. Good challenge by Akari. That definitely touched the hand of uh, Alina Bikar. So they cut the lead down to just two points. Seven to nine. Short for Nisperos. 
life that's on the fourth man, but the guy Chargers has been struggling on. A lot of uh, service errors coming from them today. Yeah. Captain Abby Marano serving 10 to 7. Ragas will go up, and down it goes for Erika Ragas on the cross court hit. Erika Ragas taking advantage of that loose block coming from the crossovers. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayad. Clean attack there coming from Ragas. Speaking of, she heads to the service line. They're down by just two. Steady hands for EJ. Bicar goes to Ea. Marciano. Juanco sends it over. Bicar chooses Karandang on the runner. Bicar choosing a quicker transition play there. Choosing Karandang with a slight attack. Marciano late in trying to go for that block. Eleven to eight. Marciano, good dig from EJ Laure, and Ea breaks the block. Much power in that attack of Ea Laure. Ten points now for Ea. Six excellent sets for Bicar. Paras the crossovers. Good drop by Marciano, but read by Bicar. Tight. But kept alive. Here comes Galang. Checked. Coverage by Buding. And that's outside point for the Chargers. Back to risk action there from that uh, EJ Laura attack. So Kari has done a good job keeping the scores close. I mean, Charitigo still leading all throughout the set, but it's not uh, the same big of a gap as it was in the second set. Good serve there, Galang. Sent back by Ragas. Karandang, checked by Madrigal. On the third try, wala pa rin. Akari playing solid net defense, and so was Charitigo with Ea Laure. And Karandang working together. Laure and Karandang just reading that one well. That out of a system attack of Marciano. No coverage on the side of the Akari Chargers. And this is what Akari needs right now. They need to cover because uh, you know, Cherry Tigo is having a, a better blocking performance. Yeah. And Regalo for EJ Laure who punches that through. Extend the lead to five. Cherry Tigo enjoying that last point and a timeout called by the Chargers. It's just really a matter of uh, sustaining the momentum for the Akari Chargers. Uh, they had it earlier, they were able to keep it close, but uh, what adjustments right now they need to do as uh, the crossover is starting to build their momentum as well and uh, create this big gap. Mm -hmm. So the Chargers were already down by just two points. Meanwhile, Ea, the summer slayer, <laughs> has ten points to her name. Misperos trying to do what Max Wanko did in the previous set. Agas with a touch, but that was a difficult one. Yeah. A second ball. So 11 points now for Laure.
Bikar chooses Galang. Naibalik. Doremdes bumps it. EJ. Ragas was there for the pickup. Desperos waits for it. Karandang straight to Ragas. She sends that over. EJ. Juanco with a dig. This will end up as a free ball. Who will Bikar choose? It's EJ. Both teams exchanging attacks. Exchanging excellent bigs. <laughs> oh, this is a long rally. Ongoing. Still alive. And it ends in a violation. Pointing fingers. Who touched the net? Sino pa talaga? Long run, that one. Look at this replay. Great cover. Oh, it was Ezra Madrigal. Incredible saves for both teams, but at the end of it, a net violation to bring us to the second technical timeout. Arena Plus as Tix Sports, and we take a look at the crowd inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex in Laguna, traveling down south. Thank you for joining us inside the venue, and to those who aren't able to make it here, of course, we are being watched over on One Sports Plus and on the Pilipinas live app. And may time pang humabo, Lael. Mayro pang third game that you will stay for and cover. <laughs> Another important game. And Karandang hits it off the block. Smart move there coming from Karandang. Inunahan na si Cobb in the previous sequence. A point there for Karandang in a 5 to nothing run. But Laure will send that out. Three point for the Akari Chargers. Seven point advantage for the crossovers. Putting them at a good spot to win this in straight sets. But we saw the run a while ago by Akari. That's true. Late in set two. Let's see if they will get another one. Juanco able to chase Nisperos. Covered again. Uh, Joe Malapit Sanet. Soltonis, though, able to work around that play. Great adjustment there coming from Soltonis. It was a tight set. But Soltonis again adjusting well, just tipping that one over. Said Domingo sitting this one out. And right beside her, Trisha Genesis and Eli Soyud. On the other side, Aimee Hernandez for Cherry Tigo is still recovering. From her injury. A lot of individual good talents. We're yet to see. And then Anaman, maybe the blocking of Akari will keep them alive here in set number three. This is what sparked confidence for Akari earlier. They're blocking. And right now, Madriaga, Madrigal rather, getting that point. Nagkakahawaan natin tayo dito, Ayel. 
naging mix up na yung UN at saka PBN. Marami kasing games, di ba? Meanwhile, Cheritigo answering back. Thank you both teams. So they are really challenging each other's offense with their good blocking. Uh, Pauline Gaston checks in for the first time to replace Abby Maranio. Eighteen to twelve here in the third set. Cobb will set up the play to Nisperos. Clean hit coming from Faith. The right height and speed no, only, for Nisperos. Only her third point of the match. Nakari down by five points. The car feeds Gaston and quickly makes an impact. This is how deep the bench is of the charity the crossover. So police Gaston off the bench. Instant point. Nineteen serving thirteen. Galam with nine points. Juanco will be the one to set it up. Laure, nice set to EJ. Kept alive. Erica with a push. A will set it up. Pat set back. Another chance for the crossovers, and Pat will take the point off the block. Can't have a loose block against uh, Paat. to will definitely take advantage of that one. Out of system set, but Paat still scores a point off the hands of Raagas. And a timeout called by Akari. Diba, nakuha na. Ang gusto mo ngayon, pumuntos. Eh, pwede naman, eh, pwede naman ibigay mo sa setter. Then, tsaka tayo mag-perform ng ano, counter-attack. Eh, hindi, hindi. Diba, every time naman na gano'n na nagkakaroon ng gamble sa taas, diba, pinababalik na. Diba? Hindi lang nagsisinkin sa atin eh, pag kaya nasa loob ng court. Oh, oh, oh layo pa yan, layo pa yan. Layo pa kaya na. Carry Chargers, they need, they improve quickly in this set. Now the small details. They need to polish it up as uh, the Charity Go Pro over just uh, five points away in taking this match. Over received. Aya will set up the play. Nakuha yun ni Soltones. Raagas on the approach. And she will also score off the block. Great set there coming from Cobb. Pushing that uh, straight to Raagas. Six points now for Erika Raagas. Credit that to the save of Soltones. Who's been also quiet no, for, for Akai. Three points produced by Gretzel. Too long for Madrigal. The carry chargers, Manabat, their leading scorer so far is not on the court. So, Thomas, as you mentioned, just uh, three points. And Nesperos, their fourth leading scorer, with three points as well. Robles heads to the service line. They are four points away from winning this match in straight sets. Good serve. Chance ball. Buding to Nabor to Ea. Great big there coming from uh, the Remdes and a combination play for Ea Laure. Change of players for Coach Rafi Mosuela with Maraginot and Santiago Manabat re-entering. We haven't seen her in a while in this game. Sir, 
22 to 14. Soltones will go to Raagas on the off speed. Easily picked up by Robles. Pat down the line and the score for Mylene. Oh, Mylene Pat, a lot of clean attacks coming from her. Uh, she's been coming off the bench all throughout this game, but whenever she's put in, uh, she makes sure she delivers. Another down the line attack for her. Nine point lead, two points away from winning the match. Oh, Sharma and Laure, dangerous play, but they help each other up. The thing they are fine after that play. Let's see what happened there. Ooh, crucial one. Uh, KP Sharma with the center line fall. Yeah. And that puts Cherry Tigo at match point. Robles will serve. Ragas. Able to save one. Uh, Agas has uh, really rallied Akari in this game. A lot of impact points coming from her. Down the line attack, the board definitely not ready for that one. And she came off the bench talking about Erika Agas. But despite that, she is the number two scorer right now. That's inside for Akari, courtesy of Jaja Maraginot. Janierva letting that one go in the last second, but uh, they have some cushion here. 16 to 24. Another good serve. Violation for Robles. Double contact. And here come the Chargers again with this late run. Three straight for Akari, which prompts Coach Kung Fu to call for time. So blessing in disguise, walang na accident sa atin na both sides. So ngayon, ang kailangan natin ngayon, o oh, nag-donate na tayo ng dalawang puntos. Bawi na tayo. Okay, nag-aaling na tayo ng dalawang puntos ha. O, sampasa muna ulit. Balik, 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 balik tayo. Go. Guys, coverage tayo. Last point, Jerry! Kumit tayo. Go, let's go! Just one more point for the crossovers. And you see the PLDT high-speed hitters enjoying dancing to the beat of the drums inside the venue. They will face signal right after this. Let's see what Cherry Tigo will do. They go to Gaston. Chance here for the crossovers. Ea. That's inside for Laure. And finally it ends as the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Oh, hold on. Ayaw pang ibigay muna ng Akari. They will challenge this one. Teka lang. Hindi pa tapos eh. Uh, the challenge is a ball-in, ball-out challenge of that uh, A.L. Laura attack going down the line. Oh, let's see. If it's in or out. Oh, that's way in. Mm -hmm. Clearly in for Ea Laure. So take two of the celebration for the crossovers. <laughs> and it is final as they get their sixth straight win here in the 2024 PBL All-Filipino Conference. Uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers. Uh, they knew that there is a lot at stake in this game against the Akari Chargers. Uh, they came in prepared. They started strong. They were able to control the game despite the fact that the Akari Chargers were also able to push them and uh, put some pressure on them. But uh, crossovers just really unfazed. Play their game. You know, displayed the teamwork, the team chemistry that uh, they have worked on and uh, what they've improved over this conference. As we see the final scores of this one, 25-17, 25-20, and 25-17. That improves the record of the crossovers. 
to also eight wins and two losses and uh, get to 23 points mm -hmm. with this straight set victory AL. Uh, and uh, for the Charity Go Crossovers, they still have uh, one remaining game, but uh, this game uh, definitely increased their chances of entering the semifinals. But still, hindi pa rin na mm -hmm. set yung <laughs> apat na papasok, no? And uh, as it stands, we'll, we'll, we'll explain later mm -hmm. on ano nangyari sa team standings, but right now, our very own Kyla Kingsu is with the best player of the game. Go ahead, Kyla. Yes, that's right. Nepaniel here with me is our best player of the game who is none other than Abby Maranyo of the Cherry Digo crossovers and big congratulations once again. And of course, the squad joining me over here. Now, first of all, another win, another street set win. All the stars are aligning for your squad. So, para sa yung mga key preparations that have allowed your squad to do this well. Pinakaki talaga sa lahat is yung nagwo work kami together and we started during the training. Tsaka nag-aaral kami na mabuti and we were able to apply everything that we learned from our viewing and trainings. We have your team agreeing sa mga answers mo dito. Very supportive and we know the race to the semifinals is very tight. So ba based on you know this game and your preparations, what can you say about how your team has been contributing in teamwork and chemistry that you're able to build? Definitely, I'm really thankful that my teammates ko are very dedicated, committed, and well-disciplined. Because that's really important. We have to start from within. We have to start believing in ourselves. Whether it's hard to get into the semis or the finals, we can help you until we help you. So that's it. We're just focused. And you have one last game for this preliminary round. And we know that upsets are not impossible. So what is your mindset and attitude you entering that last game? Attitude lang namin na laging maging palaban, maging disiplinado at mag-commit sa, sa mga tabaho namin as um, professional athletes. Now you have a growing Cherry fan community. Is there anyone you want to greet? Go ahead. Definitely, I would like to say hi sa lahat po ng mga Cherry Tigo fans. Maraming salamat po sa pag-supportan ninyo sa amin, sa paniniwala ninyo. Thank you so much sa aming team owner, si Sir Romel, si Ma'am Ada. Happy birthday sa anak ni Coach Brian at si Sam. Nanya. Ma'am Tita Nanya, happy birthday sa inyo. Sa lahat po na may birthday today. Happy birthday sa inyo. Mabuhay kayo hanggat gusto ninyo. And hello sa nanay ko. Nanonood ngayon, Ma. I love you so much. Hello sa mga friends ko. Mama G, hello. Ang dami ang babate. Ay, si Mama G, hello. Ayan, sa kamari ko, si Mama G. And kay Bebby. Bebby, I love you. There you have it. That was Abby Maran, your best player of the game. Congratulations once again to you and to our very happy crossovers over here. Now back to the panel. <laughs> Thank you, Kyla. Chaotic but very fun uh, interview right there. Abby Maranio and the Cherry Tigo crossovers improve their record. And uh, we'll take a look at the standings later on. But pag usapan muna natin yung laban na to, uh, ayal. Well, Cherry Tigo crossovers, we have to mention again that they have all the pieces they need to get the win, to get to the semis, but it hasn't been an easy road for them. But uh, again, a six-game winning streak for them, coming into their next game with a lot of confidence, everyone stepping up. You know, walang, walang main a starter for them, who's ever, whoever is put inside the court, they make sure that they step up and they deliver, and that's the reason why the system, the chemistry, has been highly effective for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. But the Akari charges, you know, we saw that we've uh, see, been seeing growth from them, but still a lot of improvement yeah. needed. Some lessons learned that they need to work on and apply in the next game. Well, we saw the bright spots mm -hmm. for the Chargers, both in sets two and three. But the final numbers between uh, the crossovers and the Chargers. A very dominant uh, win for the Cherry Tigo crossovers with 46 attack points against the 29 of the Akari Chargers. You know, but uh, they were really slowed down. They're talking about the offense of the Akari Chargers. So they have one more block against uh, the Cherry Tigo crossovers. But Cherry Tigo crossovers, they serve strong to be able to put the carry out of the system a lot of times. So and the Akari Chargers just giving away more free points, commit committing a lot of errors. Okay, so 
how Charity Eagle got to this straight set victory. Updated team standings quickly, Ayel, uh, how it's shaping up. I know it's tight, but uh, <laughs> let's try to explain it to the viewers. Again, it's a very tight race to the semis. Uh, Petrogas is leading the pack right now, despite the fact that there are four teams with the same win-loss record. We will be looking into the points. The reason why Petrogas is leading with 25 points, Chocomucho in Dreamline with 24 points, and Charity Tigo has advantage right now with the PLDT, but PLDT is, the, is still playing. Yeah. The signal is the spikers in our last game of the triple triple header today. Yeah, yung, uh, standings mm -hmm. and the man with a win over the signal HD spikers, which we will see right after this. Up next, it's uh, Savvy Davison and the high speed hitters going up against Vanny Gandler and the signal HD spikers still here on One Sports Plus and on Filipinas Live on behalf of our director Marvin Chavez, our courtside reporter Kyla Kingsu, my partner Ayel Estraniero. This is Dip Dipiaco saying thank you for watching the PBL All Filipino Conference final match. Stay tuned, more volleyball action coming your way.